I think I'm gonna cry. I think we made it uh, as intended and we're on our way before 6 a.m. and uh, yeah it's still dark the roads now are looking good and can't wait to see the sunrise on the way yeah so we had an early start today which is quite normal if you go skiing but actually there are like um, two possible ways or two directions from where you can reach the lower station of Marmolada cable car. The one which was closer to us, it's supposed to be close today or actually these days because of a high risk of an avalanche. So that's why our journey took a little bit longer today. But we are not complaining at all because, you know, as we drive, everything is covered in white. It's so beautiful. We see all the villages and uh, hotels, like they are starting to wake up and leave. And uh, yeah, people are gathering and waiting for ski buses. And we actually also passed a few ski mountain resorts as we go. It's around minus 10 degrees Celsius outside, which means also the roads are a little bit slippery, but they're quite well maintained, so it's not a big deal. Exactly like this. Starting point. And this is the middle station where we want to go. I, I would say one of the middle points because I think this cable car in total has like four stops or three, I'm not sure. On our way. Yes, right now we are at 1400 and we're going almost 2000 meters up. Oh, thanks. We decided to take a uh, ski passes with the points, as uh, we will probably not ski all the, uh, all day long, and it's the first time skiing uh, in the season for us. And we want to also explore it uh, the area more. So, in the, with this ski pass, we will be charged for each ride, and we can also take this ski pass for another day and use it in other ski resort here in Dolomites. Yeah, so it's more like enjoying the mountains than you know skiing but it's, I feel like this is gonna be no, a nice it's skiing day. and enjoying yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is freaking insane. <laughs> we <are> like <laughs> We've been pushed inside like cows inside the trailer. <laughs> like, I cannot even see outside of the cable car. Like, look how bright it is. We should count like how many people are here. I don't want to count. I thought I wanted to see outside. I don't want to imagine where we are. 
like all these people we were inside one cable car, okay? I think a, a big bus would fit this amount of people, really. Look, and it's not that big. <laughs> like all in one car, okay? <laughs> Ah, you cannot even get outside. Okay, I wanted to put out my phone, but I cannot even like put my hand into my pocket because it's such crowded. I mean, probably the reason we are a little bit heavier than usual. We can really feel how it is swinging, and if you look down, oh my goodness. Right now we are on the top of the second cable car and we can see the station from where we came. It was basically the middle station so far and the view is already insane. I mean, I cannot imagine going even higher. So as we came to the top of second cable car, we are able to enter actually also the museum of the World War. It's really nice that we could stop on a second middle station and discover a little bit more about this place and especially there's a museum which tells us more about how this place was important during First World War. So let's see it. The entrance looks quite nice. This is probably the highest museum I've ever been to, like at 3000. Pretty cool, right? As it is prohibited to take photos and videos in museum, we fully respect that. Interactive exhibition explains the history of unique aspects of the First World War, where battles were fought at such a high altitude. Contemporary photos and diary extracts shows the life in the huts and the struggles against cold, snow and ice up on Marmalada Glacier. We didn't even come to the top, but we have to have a cappuccino. I mean, Look at this view, like how, how often do you have a coffee with this view, you know? Michael, does it taste better with this view? No, it's a um, very good coffee. We are 3000 meters up, I can say nothing more than it's worth. After a quick coffee break, we are ready to take the final cable car to the Marmalada and it will be just 400 meters up this time. So this is where we are heading with this cable car and this is the only ski slope you can take down once you reach the top. I'm so glad we had the coffee break as I can see now that up there there's no bar or restaurant so yeah. Are you ready to move to the top? Yeah, let's do it. It's so nice that it opens automatically. Welcome to the top of the Italian doll nights. This is the place where we are right now. right now it's uh, the best we could have probably we've been planning this trip and we've been watching the weather so closely to get just this view up here you don't find much it's uh, there's a terrace on the top of the cable car and the view is just unbelievable it uh, worth going here uh, also if you're not planning to ski down because you can take the, the cable car also down and yeah, if you're here, you can enjoy this beautiful 360 panoramic view. I 
under the terrace, on the top, there is this gem, a little cave with a statue of uh, Holy Mary inside. And what is really interesting is that Pope John Paul II was here and he blessed this place. They even still keep the clothes he was wearing when he was here. Everywhere where you look, there's a little bit of history told. And for example, here there's a series of pictures telling how they built this place year by year. And it was a long process. I think I'm gonna cry. And from this place, you can really see how humongous this mountain is. The best way how we can finish the day of uh, skiing on the slopes is um, with the sun on our faces and the delicious food we have right now. And uh, I can really feel how the sun is heating my skin on the face and um, I can't wait to taste my delicious gnocchi with uh, mushrooms. Let's see what we have. We have like a spaghetti with um, creamy tomato sauce. Oh, we didn't put the cheese on. Mm. I think this was the best idea to end up this day with food. It was so much needed. It was delicious and we didn't even finish like half of the plants we had here so we will definitely be back because the area of Dolomiti Superski is just, just insane. Marmalada was worth all the effort I would say. I don't know about you. Yeah. And uh, it was it, so hard not like to focus on skiing and not to stop on each corner, right? And exactly. Every time you stop you just, yeah. you're thinking if this is real and uh, if you enjoyed this adventure with us, please like this video and subscribe our channel and see you in the next one. See ya. Bye guys. <laughs>